Tuesday, and with so many kids going back to school now, it is an important time to talk about digitally led families and how to do it with balance to lead and to follow. The expert on that, of course, is Katie McPherson. She is with the Gurian Institute. Always good to have you back. Thanks. So let's talk about this I generation. Preteens, teens, they don't know life without technology. Right. How is this affecting some of the decisions they make? Well, they see and then they do. So imitating different personas and avatars and taking all of that information in, the constant comparison, body image, what she has, what he has, who's at the party, et cetera, really affects their self-esteem and internalizing that information and then figuring out, okay, what do I do with this information? With a prefrontal cortex that's not formed, they're right. going to make some goofy decisions. Yeah, they really don't have a fully formed brain until they're 25 years old. How does the amount of time that they're online affect rates of depression or teen suicide? We're seeing huge spikes um, just locally, 81% spike in teen suicide. I can only speak personally for the area I live in. We've lost four students in the last 15 days, three boys and one girl. And it really is a crisis. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this plays into this impulsivity that the age sort of brings about. What's happening with the brain? Well, taking risks and lying and stretching the truth is part of growing up. We want them to make those horrible mistakes under our roof so we can guide and impact those decisions. So nothing really surprises me when moms and dads call me with crazy stories. We did it. They just have a completely different medium and access mm -hmm. to different ideas and things that they can get into. Well, one of the uh, wonderful things that I heard recently was what was going on with the Tempe Union mm -hmm. High School District, or school district, I should say, and you've been very involved in that. Mm -hmm. They had several suicides and different things go on, and they took a keen look at their practices and the mechanisms for reporting for their kids. And what the kids said is, we're not going to go to the principal and say someone's in trouble or we're worried about someone. We need boots on the ground and connection to care that are peers that we can talk to that have been trained by clinicians. They brought in Teen Lifeline, which is an amazing mm -hmm. nonprofit here in Phoenix that's staffed 24-7. So on the back of the student IDs, just one step they've taken is putting that Teen Lifeline number on every single student ID at all seven high schools. And it's such a small thing that can make a big difference in a it student's is. life. Why aren't more schools doing this? They're getting there. They're just recognizing that social media and the teen brain are a hot mess. 90% of the discipline referrals that I dealt with at the school level had nothing to do with what happened at school. It all came off of these platforms, whether it was Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. It didn't matter. It came to my desk. Mm -hmm. So the administration and the teachers are actually dying for this information, too. Mm -hmm. So part of that initiative was teaching and training all of the trusted adults on campus in teen brain. Well, we talk a lot about protecting our kids from social media, mm -hmm. but there are some positives when social yes. media can work, and one mm -hmm. of those ways is through Zemi. Talk to me about that. So we talk to kids a lot about what not to do. We're not talking enough about what to do. And mm -hmm. part of that is a new app called Zemis mm -hmm. to use for their future. So it's a free app that kids can use for an e-portfolio link for college admissions and employment. So we've got to start talking to kids in fourth grade about housing things that are great about them that mm -hmm. they can include next to the common app for college. So Zemi is one way kids can start building an online profile so when they get to junior year they send that to the college with the app and the college admissions officers are saying this gives me a really tangible look at who this kiddo is. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Mm -hmm. What three things then uh, now do you think parents must be doing? You have to stay in the know. You have to know about these apps. You have to know how they work. You have to figure out a balance for your family. How much tech are you using mm -hmm. as an adult in front of your children and pulling all of those screens out of the bedrooms? You also have to figure out how are we going to embrace technology as a family? How are we going to use this for good? And be modeling that for your students so that they can use it for branding and marketing themselves. And well, we all have to work yeah. together for sure. Katie mm -hmm. McPherson, you can find her at GurianInstitute.com. Always a pleasure Thank to have you. you here. Thank you. Thanks. We'll be right back.